the strengths of America is our diversity and to the extent that there are people that want to stifle that. We have to be there, everyone, to say no. A lot of people don't know what a hate crime is, so they don't know that it's actually happened. Hate crime is when a crime is motivated by bias. It tends to be people based on their sexual orientation, religion, national origin, and race. Unfortunately, hate crimes are on the rise across the country, and Illinois is no exception to that. It all started at a summer festival with a beanbag toss, but quickly turned ugly. What to me? You're a she nigger. knocked my phone out of my hand. She called me a nigger. Now this woman from South Suburban Alsip is charged with a hate crime. The police are investigating a possible hate crime in the loop after a synagogue is vandalized in the middle of the night. A group of girls say they were targeted because they were Muslim, and they say the confrontation was caught on camera. Like this, country. this is our home too. Racially charged incident in the loop spills out of a Starbucks. Yeah. I'm sure I'm disposable vermin. Shut up, Clay. Do not talk to me. The most important thing people can do is recognize you don't have to deal with this by yourself. The Chicago Lawyers Committee has been doing very significant work, in particular their hate crime project. The hate crime project fundamentally is about making sure that people who are targeted have top quality legal representation. When we take on a case, we are with the hate crime victim from the beginning to the end. Unfortunately, hate crimes are often underreported. We know we're missing huge numbers of people who have been victimized. The most important thing people can do is speak out and speak up. We've got their backs. We'll support them through the process. To get our help, call 312-202-3663. I mean, I think we've seen attack on our communities of color for many generations. The attacks that we're seeing right now are reminiscent of attacks that we saw during Jim Crow era. If we're not together, we're going to lose the battle, and we can't afford to do that. When our democracy is being shaken, this is a time to unite so that our democracy can fight back. If you want a government that is fairer, then you have to have a democracy that's functioning. And therefore, you have to make sure people have the right to vote, and you have to make them feel that the vote is going to be counted fairly. The ways in which uh, groups like the Chicago Lawyers Committee help on election day by providing election protection services is really, really important. On election day, I went into the polling place and I was asked for my driver's license. And I mentioned to the man that was there that that's illegal. He refused to wait on me unless I had given him my driver's license, so I did. It was four o'clock when I got there to vote, and I mentioned to him that you guys been here since 6 a.m. I could only imagine how many other people you turned around. I just felt intimidated. I saw the number posted on the wall in the polling place, the 866 our vote and I called and I was able to talk to a lawyer for help. I had to voice my opinion. It really helped me with what I was going through. We're here to stand up for voters to make sure that they can exercise their voice at the polls and really choose who they want to represent them. There are a lot of really solid procedures and laws in place in Illinois to protect our access to the polls, but the threats still remain. Angel. A Chicago rapper is working to get out the vote after hosting a free concert in Grant Park. Chance the rapper led hundreds in a parade to the polls tonight in the loop. What began as a really small event turned into 6,000 people. That part was very like, oh, like this is a pretty big deal what we're doing and how we're empowering people in the city of Chicago to actually want to get involved. Election judges and officials tried to turn away kids from voting because they said that they were not in the building by 7. I called the election protection hotline and we did have a couple of lawyers come down who then did advocate on behalf of our young people. We were allowed to then vote. It was very empowering because I was able to let a bunch of young folks throughout the city of Chicago have an opportunity to get involved in the civic process. A government that has a good bit of democracy in it will represent real people. And all these great groups, including the Lawyers Committee, will be here to protect uh, whatever victories we've won and hopefully expand them.